The following contest is a last man standing match and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. The game has arrived. The Cerebral Assassin, ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple-time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From Degeneration X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. Let's not forget the title is on the line here tonight. How can I forget? I've been looking forward to this match for a long time. The Cerebral Assassin can turn your emotions against you. This superstar has got to be laser focused here tonight. Introducing the challenger from British Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H. And his opponent, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, the Legend Killer, Randy Orton. A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. when you incapacitate your opponent so they cannot make it to their feet by a count of 10. That's right, no pinfalls. 
rules. No submissions, no count outs, or disqualifications. Meaning anything goes. Superstars collide in this type of match when they can't get past their personal differences. When all other avenues have not produced an end result. What a shot! The Viper escapes hard. Way to steer clear. Orton gets the better there. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Look at this. DDT. Kneeling. Hooked up. And DDT. Just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. when you throw an opponent out of the ring like that. On the shoulders and a slam. Hits him with the counter. Uh-oh, capture driven into the knee. Especially in the early goings of the last man standing, the best thing a superstar can do when they're not the one being counted out is to get their bearings. Make sure you're breathing right. Worry about exerting yourself if and when your opponent starts getting up. Yeah, little things like that can be the difference maker in a lengthy match. Bang! The hits added up a little on the champ. This is getting out of control. You gotta be kidding me! The table! He returns to the ring. And finds a counter. Was mounted with punches. And not a stop to the gut, too. Orton getting worked on right now. Orton needs to return to his instincts. Getting him into the corner. This is going to be catastrophic. Capitalizes against the game. Randy showing he's not out of it. Orton hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. The challenger's looking shaken. That drop suplex. In control here with a swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. to the count. It's not over yet. Hooked up. DDT. That elbow looked like it hurt.
You can't keep him down. Got it. That left sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Back elbow. Blow. Now that is why there's a chance. Stops the count there. Better settle in for a long night, Saxton. Reversal from the game. A ring shaking spine buster. Whoa. You've got to wonder how much has been taken out of these superstars thus far. And is there anything left? Oof. What is he doing here? potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table, none of these things are fun to collide with. He takes control. at a discount. This match isn't over yet. Guess he got another win. A championship level move. And this count will stop. This is either grit, insanity, Champ will stay champ. As the game squarely in his sights, what's in store for Trip? He's able to fend off the attack. Keep going, it looks like. Triple H facing a beatdown. Triple H needs to dig deep like he's done so often before. The WWE Universe has come along in this one. They are up and they are vocal a lot. Okay, oh, out of nowhere. But champions need to finish the job. Look at him 
worse for wear in the corner now. The game with the double underhook. Here we go. The champ's eyes look glazed over. This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Flapjack. Come on, the referee was counting. Great counter. Series of reversals. And out of the ring he goes. This one is headed outside, guys. And stopping the count for some reason. What's that all about? He's not ready for it to be over yet, Cole. We got a long way to go. Oh. He shoves him onto the announce table, looking to end this in spectacular fashion. Setting up. <laughs> Look at the carnage. This is a slaughter. You have to be concerned for these superstars' well-being at this juncture. Oh, I took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table. Yeah. Sad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Five. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. Seven. Any chance the table will be set up for a lovely spread? Uh, never mind, that never happens. Someone is likely going through it. And that's it, the champion is defeated. Here is your winner. Maybe that was so much. World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H. I still can't believe it. There you see our new champion. The now former champion obviously not happy with this outcome. I did not think a title change was in the cards here tonight.